Where is Dan? We got a challenge. So what happens is with this lot is the cars don't leave for two days afterwards. And so that means they're coming in and parking and scraping and this is, this is gonna, this beats up the truck so bad. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge for the F12. We'll see how she does. You think that'll be a good camera angle? Yeah, you can't get all the sticks in the way, but. I can't climb the hill and push, so I gotta actually switch right about at this point. I gotta switch and I gotta go downhill. I just, I, I can't scrape this hard pack up and get it to go. Well, then, then uh, what do you say? It, you could actually you get downforce pressure with this one. Snowbanks way far back over here because it's December 1st. You know how far this snow's gonna come out and stack up high? Like, oh, yeah. How's that lot look? Probably do with one more scrape. go on the record saying that this plow scrapes better than any plow I've ever used in my life. I would never guess that I would be able to get this far on this lot with this few passes. You want me to do something really mean to you? <laughs> want me to? Well, make, it, make, you stand, make me stand on the plow as you're going? No. Baby shark doo 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 <laughs> now that's gonna be stuck in your head all day. It's always stuck in my head, man. I have kids under seven. Well, actually, eight now. All right, we're gonna turn and go downhill. Baby shark. <laughs> Baby shark. <laughs> all right, we got. Hey, will you move that cone over there, though? I don't know if that's covering anything. Can I get out that way? I think so. Is that? Yeah, you can get, I think you can get out that way. I think it was just in the corner. I didn't. I looked underneath it. I didn't see anything. Thank you. 
right at the front tire. But also not bad on hard path. Why is the lobby closed? Uh, staffing right now. Nobody wants to work? Nobody wants to work right now. I know what you mean. <laughs> it's everywhere out here. It's noon and, I, and we can't go inside to go eat at Taco Bell. I've plowed this account for 32, maybe 35 years, somewhere in there. After so long, you just forget how long it's been. And this is the cleanest scrape that I've ever been able to get on this lot. The other plows that I've always I've used in the past, they tend to float up and over the ice, meaning you're going back, then you're cutting again, and you're going back and you're cutting again. This thing just bit once, shaved it off, 
And I was so used to not being able to do that that I automatically would just go back and hit it again and hit it again, not realizing I'm wasting time. So there's a little bit of, you see me going back and forth, back and forth and not doing a whole lot. That's because I'm not used to being done in one swipe, just not used to that. And so there's a few other things I got to get used to. This is the Snowpower F12. They also have a Snowpower F14. And the actual cylinders that are the uh, shock absorbers for this plow, I think are filled with nitrogen. And the reason he said that he has them filled with nitrogen is because they respond faster and it gives you a better cush. And at first I thought it was just a bunch of hoo right? When uh, Rick, the owner of Snowpower, told me this. And you saw me hit curbs here, and I've this is December, the middle of December right now, and we're going on our eighth or ninth snowplow already this year. Uh, three or four of those were just, I mean, it's to let me let me qualify what I mean. Today is Tuesday, and I started plowing snow a week ago today, and we haven't stopped. We took Sunday off. But we've plowed the last seven days in a row straight and we had four or five events before this last week of plowing and tomorrow morning we're getting eight to ten inches starting with 40 and 50 mile an hour winds coming so the plow i've had a chance to really use and abuse it just this last year now that's not the true test of time but it's also gone above and beyond this is a brand new unit i'm so impressed and love and infatuated with it i'm over that stage and i'm into the stage of is this thing going to actually perform and this test today was one of those tests that it did well beyond what i expected it to but now i've rambled on too long and half of you guys tuned out and i don't blame you i would have tuned out but that's all we got for you on this one if you enjoyed these videos the thumbs up goes a long way and i will catch you guys on another one god bless go get them you guys and uh enjoy i hope you're enjoying your weather wherever it is i'd love to hear what what your weather's like you got to hear what mine is like and what's coming now I want to hear what's coming your way. Catch you on the next one, you guys.